Hey people, so I'm out walking and I wanted to come on and share something with you guys about owning your power and committing to your commitments. So I am on this journey of being transformed in the daily activities that I do. Um, you know, I've been sharing over and over again that I am in a leadership training and this leadership training is all about being a leader. You can't lead people if you can't lead you. Right. And many of us are really good at telling people what to do. I'm good at that. Are you good at that? I'm very good at that. You want to call me, ask me anything? I probably have a solution for you. Right. But sometimes we are not the best at leading ourselves. And so one of the things that I am very intentional about in this day and age is really getting clear on what I want to create for myself. Right. Um, so. There is something that I did this week that um, was new to me that I want to share with you guys that actually really, really um, inspired some higher intentionality in my life. And what I mean by that is it kept what was most important and has been keeping what's most important on the forefront. So there's a book out, y'all, that can y'all hear me? It's a lot of wind blowing. Um, can y'all hear me? I hear the wind. I think it's going against me. Should I walk this way? Let me walk this way. I don't think the wind is blowing this way. I'll go around through my kids' school. But there's a book everybody on the earth should read. There's a few books that I recommend everybody on the earth read. But this one is one I read it years ago, and it just changed my life. It's called The Miracle Morning. I read it many, 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 many years ago. It's a book. It's a staple to a lot of people in the personal development space, people who are seeking to grow and learn and expand their life. The Miracle Morning teaches you how to, hey, Tamisa, um, it teaches you how to have conquer six things every single day in your life. And they break it down as S-A-V-E-R-S, okay? They teach you to do this first thing in the morning but I'm going to tell y'all what I did that put a spin on it that actually is really changing how I approach my days. All right. So they teach you the Miracle Morning actually teaches you at the beginning of your day. Number one, anybody who wants to own your power. Let me tell you the number one secret to owning your power. If you want to own your power, you got to own your time. You have to be intentional about your time. You have to be super protective about your time. That's how you start off owning your power. You have to be very clear on the value that your time is and why you can't let anyone or anything impose on that time that isn't in alignment with what you want your time to produce for you. And then you got to master your time. That is a, the, one of the number one secrets. You own your time, you own your mind, and you own your money. That's how you, you own your power. You own your time, you own your mind, and you own your money, right? But when it comes down to time, your time is what's going to produce and elevate you in those places of your mindset, and it's going to elevate you in those spaces of your financial well-being. And a lot of us waste a lot of time. I am getting very intentional about my time. I map, I map out my days. Um, I shared earlier this week that I didn't really come up with a plan for the year. I usually map out all my, every year I map out my year. I map out from January to, to December, kind of what I want my years to look like. But this is the first year. I think last year I didn't do it for some reason. Um, I didn't do it last year and I didn't do it this year. Maybe I knew something was coming. Maybe it was in my spirit that I knew something was going to happen last year. And then this year, in the middle of the pandemic, I was like, ah, however you want this to unfold, I'm not about to stress myself out with a whole bunch of plans because I didn't know where the year was going. But here's the thing. Miracle Morning. Miracle Morning teaches you to master your time. You start mastering your time by mastering your morning. I feel a lot of wind that way again. I got to go the other way. You master your morning. And they teach you how to do six things. S-A-V-E-R-S. Now stick with me, if you're watching this and you're not somewhere where you can write something down, you need to come back and write it down. And I may just um, show you guys a visual of what I did when I get back to the house. But savers, S-A-V-E-R-S. 
So here's what it stands for. The first S stands for, can y'all hear me? It's the wind blowing. The first S stands for solitude. All right, solitude. Starting your day off in prayer. Starting your day off meditating. Stop starting your day off in stillness. The ability to get quiet enough to hear your own thoughts. So much, so many of us are so trapped by so much noise all day long. Social media, radio, TV, people, phone calls, everybody else's agenda. So in order to truly own your power, you gotta own your mind. You have to be able to get sit still long enough to actually be able to hear. You hear me much better? Do I have to hold it this way? I'm walking against the wind. I got a long walk ahead of me and I might hit a lot of wind. Y'all hear a lot of wind? So I'm wondering, should I take these earphones off? How do you hear me now? So let's see. I'm trying to see if I go this way, I'm going with the wind. If I go this way, I'm going against the wind. All right. Hear you much better. All right, cool. So savers, solitude, get quiet. First, first thing in the morning, get quiet, sit still. What is it that God is trying to speak to you and tell you that you're so inundated with to do's and agendas and thoughts going through your head that you don't have the space to receive where God is leading you, huh? The second thing is a affirmations, declarations. Okay. So I am getting very, very committed to this. I am getting a lot better with speaking these things out loud. My kids, I annoy the crap out of them because I make them speak it out loud. When my kids tick me off, which they do often, I have to get them because I used to just go off on them, right? And be like, why did you do this? You're not supposed to do this, blah, blah, blah. But then I have to turn around and create reinforcement words. Like today, my daughter started a dog walking business. She started the dog walking business, but guess what? When it was time to pick up poop, she didn't quite want to pick up the poop. And so I had to show her how to pick up poop in excellence, right? You can't have a dog walking business if you don't want to pick up poop. So <laughs> when it came to picking up poop, <laughs> I was like, Chloe, number one, we're not going to break any rules. We're not going to have poop on other people's lawn. That's the number one. If a dog poops, pick it up, right? fully don't leave nothing behind no remnants behind but number two we're going to do everything in excellence even if it's stinky and that's what i had to say that i will do everything in excellence even if it's stinky because if you're going to run a business especially in your own neighborhood and you have expectations to fulfill you want them to have nothing but good things to say about you so i want you to say i will do everything in excellence even if it stinks and she said it with a disgusted face but I told her to repeat it over and over again because I want her to realize running a business can be stinky sometimes. You may not wanna do it, but you still gotta do it in excellence. So affirmations and declarations is the A, S-A-V-E-R-S. -E the V, visualization. Are you visualizing who you wanna become? Are you visualizing what you wanna create? Are you visualizing the life you wanna live? Are you visualizing the love you wanna have in your life? Are you visualizing the business you wanna build? Are you visualizing the beauty of love, joy, laughter in your life? What are you visualizing? If you're allowing yourself to think on the negative things, you're visualizing something. It just may not be what you want. So make sure that you are visualizing the life that you desire. Visualization is so critical. Find yourself some kind of movie music. I love movie tracks, soundtracks from movies. One of my favorite is Gladiator. I love Gladiator and I love some of the Titanic, not all of it, but I am big on soundtracks. Get a soundtrack, a movie soundtrack, put it in your ear and visualize that you are the leading star in a movie and you are going through the happily ever after in that movie. Visualize the life that you want. E stands for exercise. Get your exercise in. So. When I take my kids dog walking, I walk. And my goal is to get two and a half miles in a day. Well, I think today I only did a mile and a half when we went walking earlier. Um, and so I said, I got some time in between calls. I was feeling a little anxious in my spirit. I don't know why. So I said, I'm gonna go for a walk. So that's what I'm doing, exercise. 
E, that's the E. R is reading. I'm committed, committed to reading 10 pages a day. Are you committed to reading daily? What are you reading? Reading people's social media posts is great. Thank you for reading mine. Keep reading mine, right? I try to bring all value. But get yourself a book. So I have three books on my list right now that I'm going to read. And so I am committed to 10 pages a day. So what are you reading right now? And then the last S is scribing, journaling, writing things down. You know, scribing and journaling is so empowering. And I'm getting really committed to writing more and more every single day. And even now, I'm typing more. So I type out my prayers. But let me tell you what I did with this S-A-V-E-R-S this week. And it's making me super intentional. So instead of just thinking about those things that need to be done from the miracle morning, right? So I'll give you an example, the visualization. Instead of just saying, okay, I need to get up every morning and visualize. I wrote down my goals for what do I want to visualize this week? What visions do I want to make as a, pre- as a priority before me? So guys, listen, visualization does not have to be this long-term thing. It can be, what do you want to visualize that you accomplished this week? It can be, I want to visualize myself getting up first thing in the morning, boldly, you know, happily, um, energetically, putting on my workout clothes and going to the gym. I want to visualize myself actually sitting down and meditating. I want to visualize myself completing my reading. What are you going to visualize? Have an intention for what you are going to do, even in your prayers, right? So S-A-V-E-R-S, the first is solitude, the A is affirmation. What affirmations am I declaring over my life this week, right? I will follow through on all of my commitments. I will write my 2,300 words a day for my book. I will complete this one big project that I had on my agenda. I will obtain a new client at X amount. I will attract X amount of new students. I will pay off whatever bill. I will receive whatever it is you want to receive. You don't want to just say, I'm going to get up and pray every day. What are you praying for? Write those prayers down. What do you want to accomplish? What do you want to see happen? What do you want to see manifest? When you write down and get intentional, even about your prayers, what happens is now you have an expectation for an outcome. You are declaring that this thing got to happen and I'm going to write it down. I'm going to pray over it. I'm going to commit to it until it manifests. Be super intentional about what you want to create. Exercise. What are you committed to doing daily? What do you need to begin to, you know, make sure you have time for Are you going to walk? When are you going to walk? What time? Do you have your workout clothes pulled out? Do you have your shoes pulled out? Are those things ready to go? Are you taking vitamins? What do you need to have in place? Have your earphones ready. Have your phones charged. Being super intentional about getting these things done. That way you remove any excuses, any reasons why I could not do them, right? Because you was done, right? So, and the last thing, you know, you got the scribing, but it's like, journaling out what you want to focus on for the week, creating your intentions. I know that there's a lot of things that we wish, a lot of things that we want, a lot of things that we pray for. And sometimes we allow them to be big things somewhere down there. But what are you going to do this week? What are you going to do this week that's going to get you closer to where you want to be? Let's say one of my things is up in my credit score. Let's say that there's one big bill that I've been, you know, meaning to pay that I didn't. I'm going to pick up the phone this week and I'm going to call them and I'm going to work out some terms to do a payment plan or something. But be intentional. Be so specific about what you are going to accomplish that you don't give yourself a cop out from getting those things done. This is how you own your power. These are the small little things that you can do every single day that is going to create the outcome that you desire. Many of us are sitting around waiting for some big thing to happen. We're wondering why things aren't panning out. How come I'm not experiencing the shift? Why do I feel stuck? Why? Because you're waiting for something out there to create itself. You have to create it. You have to take ownership. You have to own your power. You have to commit to your commitments and you have to be highly devoted 
to the process that you're going to go through to create them. And this is the process that I actually have been implementing. And I find myself not wasting no time. I'm very intentional about my time. My kids will tell you, I'm like, we got this to do. We got that to do. Get up, get ready, do your hair, put your shoes on, be ready to go. And I'm on them with creating a routine, creating a schedule and being diligent about time. So I hope that this helps you guys. I am finishing up my walk. I'm probably get about two and a half miles in, three miles in today. And I'm committed to that, right? And sometimes it don't all come at the time that I plan because I have children at home and lots of things going on. But the goal is to be committed to my commitments and do whatever it takes. So I hope that inspires you guys. If it does, share this video, put a comment below. I can't tell because my screen is getting dim, but I'm gonna wrap this up. I'm gonna be in solitude on my way home. Give myself permission to receive whatever thoughts are gonna come my way on this walk. So y'all have a great, awesome, and phenomenal day. And as more of these little random thoughts hit me, I will go ahead and turn the camera on. All right, see you guys, bye.